Hello everyone and welcome back to episode 3 of Landnama version 2.0, a major overhaul update that was released just maybe two or three days ago. And uh, yeah, we're just seeing how the game plays now. We've settled the first two regions in the previous two episodes and we will continue with our saga and try to settle a third region this time. Here we are, we settled 2 out of 6 regions in 28 winters, 28 years it took us and 5 moons. No clans perished, so we did both on the first attempt. We got 2 bonuses uh, by discovering the landmarks in each respective region. One was Kirkufell, which gave us, gives us plus 1 explorer for a total of 3. And we've discovered the Haukadalur Gazer in the second region, which gives us plus 1 builder for a total of 3. <clears throat> Unlike version 1.0, we can now use one clan per successful settlement. So we've used Helga the Bears in the first region and Sigrid with the Bulls for the second region. And every time we've unlocked a region, we've unlocked more clans. So we should have quite a few more options. Here we have the summary of Saga effects here. Plus one Explorer, plus one Builder. Given we're playing on Hagala's one difficulty. So one level above normal. And I guess there's also Hagala's two and Hagala's three. Uh, for the ultimate challenge. But for us, we have a 50% chance for events to be curses. So it's a 50-50. You know, one, one heart per harvest required to start an upgrade. And plus 10 for the final. So here we go. Onward. Uh, let's pick our clan for the third region. Yeah, so you see the Sigridu bulls are locked. I think to be perfectly honest, uh, before we look at the clans... Why don't we look at the regions we can settle first? Uh, I think that, to be honest, is, is more logical to me because it's good to look at how hard the region will be and what uh, the primary biomes uh, there will be so that we can actually tailor our clan choice uh, to that region to you know give us any advantage we can get. So here we are. The third region, at least in order uh, of selection, is the Horna Fjordur. Black sand beaches dotted with shimmering chunks of ice that flow from the glacial lagoon Yokelsarlon. And primary biome is glacier, region difficulty is 5. It does, it does give a nice landmark discovery saga effect of minus 5 winters tall, but it is 5 difficulty. I'm not 100% sure if it's worth doing that now, or do we tackle? So we have. Effectively, two more regions of difficulty one, two, three, four, five. Right, this is sorry, difficulty six. We have difficulty three. The first region was difficulty one. The second region was difficulty two. It doesn't really show that anymore. But I guess logically, we would go with Austerland, a jagged coastline of fjords and waterfalls featuring a steep ravine of striking basalt columns known as Stuglagel. Primary biome grassland, three skulls, landmark discovery, saga effect, plus 10% chance to find quality tiles. This is actually a really good bonus. So I do think we should go with that before we tackle higher difficulties. Because higher diff completing a higher difficulty region now will give us a landmark discovery. Uh, eff effectively saga effect, plus five. Some well, of this one will give us plus five maximum hearts or plus one per harvest from home. Which is good to have, but I guess my logic would be that we need to do the easier regions to stack as many landmark discovery saga effects as possible to help us with this 6 out of 6 difficulty region with glaciers. And it doesn't really matter. I mean, doing this now, doing this earlier, I guess would give us a minus 5 winters toll for the rest, but the rest are easier in general. Um, so yeah, so this makes sense to me. So we then start the more difficult regions of 4, 5, and 6 with more bonuses. Yeah, raising our chances of success. So let's go with Osterland, and here we have Grassland, plus 10% chance to find quality tiles. That's a really good bonus, actually. Um, but let's go to select the clan. Let's go back to that and see what we have available. Orligor, the rangers, particularly adept at their ability to traverse lands with their eyes always on the horizon. They're a clan of curiosity and exploration. 
tiles around the home tiles are already explored. That's one heart. That certainly gives you, what, six hearts and six months worth of exploration for free. Minus 20% exploration time. Frankly, time isn't as much of an issue as actual cost. That's one option. It's a good one. <clears throat> Second option is Tor. The clan of Tor, the gardeners. A careful clan who take their time studying the land and in doing so reap the rewards that come with truly understanding its value. Starting bonus. The first three tiles explored are quality tiles. That is a very good one for the... And clan ability plus 10% chance to find quality tiles. I feel like this is one, this one is a good one to tackle glaciers. Because then you get quality tiles earlier on. And can build up hearts quickly. I feel like this one we should reserve for the highest difficulty maybe. Next, the clan of Ingolfer, the surveyors. The land speaks to the Ingolfer. Revealing its secrets to those who have learned how to properly listen. Starting bonus. The settlement's closer to the landmark. Mm. Clan ability. Exploring unique tiles costs zero heart. Exploring unique tiles. So once we haven't discovered before, well, we get our hearts refunded to us after exploration. Being closer to the landmark is nice. Okay, I think this is a maybe. And let's look, our last option is the Snorri, the craftsman, a clan renowned for their efficient and dependable construction. No one can compete with their building. The first three buildings are built instantly. Okay, that saves time, but the first three buildings only take two months to build, right? Because they will be most likely the basic production buildings. <clears throat> so that effectively might, you know, add one harvest per building, really, and given it each starting building gives you what, like one, two, maybe three hearts. That basically overall gives you, okay, let's even say it's nine hearts. I'd say between four and nine hearts. That's what this really translates into. And the clan ability is minus three construction cost. Okay, that is pretty powerful. Because the first buildings cost you four. Okay, wow. This one is a perhaps a good one for the glacier. Because we'll be pressed for hearts there. This one is a good for the really hard region. Go for the surveyors. Settlements closer to the landmark. Hmm. The ones we will unlock later are... Gothic can be built anywhere except Glacier. Our grounds can be built more than once. Stewards. The first production buildings turn their tile into quality tile. That is a good one. Yeah, that's another reason you want to do easier regions first, is we'll un unlock more clans um, for that, you know, for the harder regions. So we have more choices. Starting bonus plus one, Veg Vizier. Veg Vizier reduces winter's toll to zero. Wow. Okay, this one is an interesting one, but okay. So the bears we've settled. So which one, which clan do we want to settle in the third region? I feel like towns and hometowns are already explored. This one, I feel like, is a decent one, because three skulls should be, shouldn't be too hard. We have grassland as the primary biome. The first three tiles explored are quality tiles. Plus 10% chance to find quality tiles. That's a good one. When stacked, especially with that landmark, we'll have a 20% chance to find quality tiles. So this one, I feel like we save not worth to use on a three difficulty. Maybe you can go for the surveyors. Settlement is closer to the landmark. Because the sooner we find that quality tile, right, given oh, sorry. That will be the bonus. We'll use the settlements closer to the landmark. Exploring unique tiles costs zero hearts. Maybe we'll go with this, the surveyors for our first attempt at the third region. Because finding this landmark even for this settlement, would be a pretty good bonus. And it's plus 10% chance to find quality tiles. Let's try that. We do have three attempts for the saga, so we can fail a couple of times, but hopefully we will succeed. Let's just have a think again. And I feel this is too powerful. This is I want to save this clan for the later, harder regions. 
So let's try Ingol for the surveyors. The settlement is closer to the landmark and uh, exploring unique tiles costs zero. Although at the start... Hmm. Unique. Exploring unique tiles. I'm not really sure what that means. Settlement is closer to the landmark. Well, let's at least try it, because otherwise I think this clan is too weak for the harder regions. That... Right, and what are the other landmarks we'll find? Plus five maximum, that's alright. That saves you maybe a house. It delays, delays your need for a, the first house, which lets you raise your maximum stock. Uh, of hearts. Plus one per harvest from home. Yeah, that's a good one to have going into the last region, but it's not such a big... It's not such a big bonus. This is a big bonus, and it's good to find this quickly. Even for this region itself. So let's go... Let's set sail. So again, we're going with Ingolfer the Surveyors. Land speaks to, to the Ingolfer, revealing its secrets to those who have learned how to properly listen. Let's see. Not 100% clear on the mechanics, but let's go. Okay, arrival at Osterland. After following the coastline of jagged cliffs and fjords, the clan came ashore in an area of grassy plains. Rolling hills adorned with vibrant wildflowers seemed to ripple like waves in the breeze, broken only by a striking ravine of sheer basalt columns. The hills rise slowly into the mountains, the fjords disappearing among them. In an area this rich and fertile, the clan stands a good chance of survival. Now the land must be explored and buildings raised to build heart and establish a settlement that can stand the test of time. It would be nice if they had a really nice artwork for uh, each region, just to give us a bit more flavor. But here we are, let's go onward. Okay, what do we have? We have a sea tile here. We have a curiosity here, which will definitely give us a a positive effect. We could build a fisherman uh, straight away, a place for the humble fisherman to moor and clean the day's catch, a critical site for any sea-based clan. Four hearts out of our five, and it will give us already at least three straight away. So we'll do this and we will explore this tile to get us closer to the curiosity and potentially discover Another sea tile, giving, making our fishermen give us two hearts instead of uh, one. Let's see, so that, boom, nice, very nice. Uh, exploring, so what is that? Okay, that was a harvest, we got one extra. Let's explore this way. Alright, so we spent one, trying to see how those, you know, exploring unique tiles costs zero. Oh, wait. Okay, so these are the unique tiles. That is pretty powerful. Oh, wow. This costs zero. Okay. This costs zero. Okay, so basically the ones with events. We are 50-50% on all events. Curiosity is always positive. So we should find, yeah, the landmark pretty quickly. That's nice. And we're closer to it than usual. So one of these could be a landmark. Maybe one of the outer ones. Okay. Okay, let's just pause, sorry, pause. Our fisherman is complete. Nice, there's a lot of sea tiles here. That's a three heart fisherman. That is very nice. We have no hearts left to explore, but we do have one explorer. Let's explore these unique tiles as they call them. Not sure that's the best name for them, but these are effectively the ones with Aurora guys, are events which have for us a 50-50, given our difficulty level, 50% chance of pos something positive. 50% chance of something negative. Here we go. Frozen shores. An incredible amount of ice has begun washing ashore in chunks of all sizes. There is nowhere safe to launch boats. The entire coast has been cut off to the clan. Settlement effect plus two winters tall. Onward. Curiosity discovered. Settlement effect minus three winters tall. Onward. Okay, so this is this was the curiosity. And that has given us minus three to Winter's Toll. And this is plus two. We're actually at zero for this winter. That's very nice. Okay, we managed to get four hearts. 
Curiosity. Okay, but we can't build anything on this. Okay. Hmm. Okay, we have two. We have two explorers. We could go for this one and maybe this one, so we can reach reach these two unique tiles, as they call them, and we will discover this one. Okay, with another curio another event wind throw the howling wind came in the night and blew over many great trees the forest feels sparse without them exploration cost plus one that is a little bit frustrating i was here we are hoping for a sea tile to make our fishermen even stronger um yeah well okay that was a bad one yeah plus one cost exploration this early on it's pretty punishing to be honest Peat farm here. Well, don't really have a choice here. We're gonna have to take a lot of events in this one because at least, at least that costs zero to explore. Nice. Wow. Okay, we have a quality tile here. So later on, we could build a shipbuilder here, and that could give us doubles production of adjacent fishermen. And plus one per harvest from fishermen. So it will give us one, two, three, four times two. So it'll be eight. Pretty good. We should be able to build that once we upgrade to farmstead. Okay, this is a really good combo. Lucky there. Okay, let's wait for another harvest. We need one more to actually upgrade our building. Maybe it's a peat farm here. Let's see. Another wind throw, plus one exploration cost from the howling winds. Oof. An aurora, a particularly stunning display of the northern lights, pulls everyone's eyes to the sky, inspiring awe and wonder. Feeling the power of the gods close by, everyone gives a little extra in their work. Plus one maximum heart. Boom. Well, okay, plus one maximum, that's not much. Plus two to exploration cost. This is bad, to be honest, guys. That is really bad. What used to cost us one last cost us three. That is insane. That is quite literally well. Oh, God. Yeah. Okay. We got two wetlands cost us two and now it cost us four it's crazy that is literally crazy but let's get this harvest of five All right, otherwise i mean we can also let's, okay let's explore this one just play into our clan's uh let's say strength given we've so far we've landed with more malices than bonuses but uh Okay, let's. We can just take a guess and maybe do a wetlands, do it like a peat farm here. Uh, what do we wait to and explore? I mean, this peat farm would cost us four, it would pay for itself after two harvests, and we can always, always get rid of it later. Or do we save money for exploration it would be nice to upgrade so I would just go ahead and build it so we can actually yeah we need hearts now for exploration I can't believe we have plus two it's crazy rotted wood the wood set aside for construction wasn't stored properly and unfortunately can't be used as frustrating as it is no new buildings can be started until it has been restocked plus one to construction well, at least we got that peat farm out before this malice. And that's the end of year one. There's another curiosity here. Okay, here we are. Winter's toll. At zero. So we have one left onward. Wait, how come this peat farm gives us three? Oh, wait. I actually did notice this. This was the... This was the 
One thing I didn't understand in actually episode one when we had that hunter, but this means that curiosity tiles basically give plus one to anything adjacent to them. That's very nice. Okay, so we started to upgrade our settlement to a farmstead. I'll take a bit. Of, let's take the first harvest and try to uncover this tile because it could be another wetland. Will be very nice. And we will. Hmm. This one, or what are we looking for? We're looking for what pastures, maybe. Could this be a pasture? Could this be a way to this curiosity? I mean, we, let's do this. Could this could be a hunter? I guess we'll do this first. Maybe this could be a good spot for a hunter, as could be this one. I can't believe it can cost us four. That is very, very tough. Okay. Six to nine. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Grasslands and more glaciers. So no luck here. Let's try it this tile next at least we can maybe get to this maybe get something positive it is possible to get a reduction in exploration costs as well so this one and then we do what this one and we do two of these for free except we can't because we only have five and we will get 16 from these two so we can actually spend all we want In fact, we have 8, 8, 16, so we need to spend 5. We have to spend this 5. We could even spend 6 and hope for the best. I don't think there's any need to try our luck with this one. It could be the landmark, though. So maybe we have to go with it. Maybe next, next year, because if our, one of our buildings burns down which would be the fishermen, we would lose. So let's make sure we get through this year. And fine, we will... Not enough heart. Yeah, that's right. Okay, let's keep going. I think we will... Also do this one for four. Either we, guys will lose one heart, and... Because there's... Either we we'll lose one heart because we'll be overstocked. Because we'll have 8 plus 8, 16. Plus 1, we'll have 17. So we'll lose one production heart. Or we risk it. But if we risk it, right now we can roll 6, 7, 8, 9. So 25% chance to roll a 9. We did that last episode. And it actually landed on a 9. And we had to use our Veg Vizier. So maybe... Maybe. Maybe we won't push our luck this time. Given this is a three difficulty region. Let's discover this. Maybe it's a good pasture. Maybe it will link up with this highland. Upgrade completed. Perfect. Now we have kiln, ta weaver, tanner, carpenter, production, shipbuilder. This is what we need. We need a shipbuilder right here. ASAP. One perhaps from fishermen. Doubles production. We need requires woodcutter. All right. Okay, we need to build a woodcutter somewhere as well. And we need 21. Okay. Oh, we don't even have any wood. We also have the mastery upgrade. Tide master. Plus one per harvest from fishermen. We could get immediately. Fishermen counts quality tiles twice as adjacent bonus. Except we'll build our shipbuilder on the quality tile. So it will never... Get that bonus. Fishermen can be built twice. Yeah, not not worth it. And as we learned in episode two, like getting a second and super efficient kind of production building is key to actually winning. So let's save the mastery for now, since we don't know. Yeah, you gotta discover a lot more before you pick your masteries. Oof, okay, grassland here. But we don't really have much choice other than sending our explorer here for free. Wetland. Uh, well, let's... Oof. Actually, I'm not sure if that's the best idea. We need to... Let's actually 
actually a good idea because if our building like this thing gives us an event as we had many of those events in in uh okay well wait nine wait we have nine out of 16 so we have enough so wait we only need nine yeah, sorry my maths was wrong actually previously we only need nine to survive right so we actually have we would actually explore here six we'll have eight plus three that would be eleven and then later we can even explore this one i'll do it now so that it comes after this harvest so we can collect this eight Oof. rotted wood plus one construction cost oh. Come on, give us something positive. I mean, plus two exploration, plus two construction. Wow. There's no luck here. Although we did get lucky with this fisherman, to be honest. Okay, wow. This is going to cost us six and nines. Okay, we need to explore this one next. Or maybe a better woodcutter. Maybe better pastures. Maybe a hunter. Yeah, this, this is the key next to him and then we could make use of our eleven. Okay, that's enough to get us through this winter. Come on, give us something good. Okay, quality grassland tiles. That will give us one, two, three. Pasture for six. Okay, that, that is the next thing we're going to build. We'll get this for free now. And that will give us a curiosity tile. So this should give us a pasture of four. That's a good one. Thank you. God's rotted wood. Again. Please. Plus three construction cost. Wow. That is painful. That is painful. Nice. Okay. At least we got the minimum. Six. We have five left onward. Okay. Seven, just for a basic production building. It will pay for itself in two, in two harvests. Still though. Wait, hang on, we need a pasture urgently. And we also need 18 to survive this winter. And we can't even store 18. Oh dear, here is a place for a house because it will be, it's not a quality tile, but it is next to the fisherman. This would be a house, and that costs us eight. Okay, next harvest, we build the house, and then we have what? Eight plus eight, 16 plus six. Yeah, so we'll, we have enough, plus we have this pasture. So we'll have enough, but we need to build a house ASAP. Landmark discovered. There we go. An ancient fortress of stone held securely by columns that must have been carved by the frost giants. Stuglagil. Plus 10% chance to find quality tiles. Okay. At least we found that early on. So it will help us both in this saga and in the in this settlement and for the rest of our saga. That's a good one. Oh, and it still counts. Okay. And even the landmark counts as an additional tile. Great. That's a great pasture here. So we need to uncover. We will explore this for six. We'll get 12 next turn, which will allow us to build a house for eight so we'll have four left over four plus twelve plus twelve twenty four yes we have more than enough right, so let's speed this up okay plus ten maximum well, let's just have a think and yeah, this is kind of the best way we'll have another house on the shore here lower these we can explore this one again for free but now that we found the landmark we got to be careful with these events in fact, I even think we should be actively avoiding. Because, I mean, we got enough of our fill of curiosity. Curiosity is nice. Nice. This is super nice. Okay. This is... <laughs> uh, okay. I think this kind of going to bring us... Bring this game back. Yeah. So what we need next, we need a woodcutter. And we need a shipbuilder. 
which and for the woodcutter we need to discover these okay so that's our priority let's hope for the, a good wood woodland kind of combo here wait hang on so we have four and it's 13 we'll have 17 okay is this house going to get built before that or after that or there's nothing we can't even spend the four because no we can't actually spend it here it's kind of pointless though isn't it we're better off losing one if the house doesn't get built at the same time oh no it did so okay we have 17 plus 13 we'll have 30 so we can definitely spend four just so we don't stock up don't don't over you know overstock but we only need 18 so we actually have two or eight plus four we have 12 to spare so let's go six maybe even here this could be a woodland could be could be another hunter let's spend and two explorers out here we have five plus 13 that would be 18 perfect speed this up okay okay we we'll get our harvest in a second and we discovered nice a quality highland tile so this is a hunter that could give us three and woodlands actually if we chose mastery again for the hunter which we went with uh last time would Woodla woodlands count as bonus tiles so, so this could be a one two three four hunter two of these guys i don't want to touch these events honestly i'm actually afraid i'm actually afraid guys Let's at least start building it and then we explore this one so that it doesn't increase our cost or whatever. Let's spend all of our hearts next year and then we'll discover this one. Nice. At least we get, we're on the lower end for onwards. What do we need? We need seven to build this one. Okay, let's wait for the first harvest and then we discover this. That will give us enough time to react. I think. I hope. Build this hunter. Set discovery here. Send an explorer here. And now we have 13 plus 13. So we need two harvests. We can do so. We have 14 to spare. Let's just see. We we'll discover this and just have a, have, have a look at how that affects uh, this year. But we have 14 hearts to spare. In fact, even more than that, actually. Okay, we are upgrading again. That's good. To build that, build that ship builder. But for that, we need a wood cutter. The only wood we even have is here. So we could build this woodland. Wood cutter here. Build a wood cutter here as well. This will cost nine. Are you kidding me? Nine. Uh, I could go with exploring this one and hoping for a woodland tile. And then we could even explore this event. But we need a house. That's another thing we need urgently. A house needs to be next to a non-house building. To take effect, so we need 13. Oh, so we need to build a house. Yeah, this is going to be the spot for the house. Right, and since we're gonna have 16, we have 32 coming in. I guess let's build a house now so we can actually store enough hearts for the shipbuilder and for, for the winter. Let's see how this works out. A okay, rotted wood plus one construction cost. Are you kidding me? Plus four construction cost now. Let's definitely send an explorer to the curiosity. Okay, this did uncover another highland, so now our hunter now gives us four. It could potentially give us five in the future. If we went with two hunters, you get it, but with a bone cover mastery. So in order to 
get our shipbuilder, we need a woodcutter. And the only woodcutter that we have is here, although it's a bit of a gamble as to what the bonuses here will be. I mean, given how much it costs, though... Oh, okay, let's at least try and to uncover this. Maybe this is a could be a quality woodland tile. God, it's unreal. This is... I mean, it's kind of going well. We are getting lucky. It's just these... These uh, events are really costing us. Okay, 21 out of 36. Let's see, we have one more harvest of 17, which will give us, what, 28, 38. So we have two from overstocking and plus 10 from the maximum stock versus the maximum winter possible winter's toll. So we have 12 to play with. Okay, so we can definitely this and then at least right now we'll have 25 32 yeah at least stock up okay upgrade completed great we now have two masteries we can also build a gothy yeah but we need a good site for the gothy yeah that's what level two the mead hole really unlocks for you is the, the gothy choose mastery Woodlands, yeah, we could actually unlock these right now and get plus one and then plus plus two here we could get. Or our other right or other good buildings we have is the where is pastures? Agriculturalist. We get plus one harvest from pasture. Pasture counts highlands as bonus tiles. So we have a glacier next to us. So this will give us just plus one. Pasture can be built twice. Yeah, I don't even see a single spot. Whereas for Highlands, we actually do have potential second spots there. Hmm. In woodcutter, we don't even have one spot for a woodcutter. So it's definitely not going to be wood. Be peat farm. Peat, yeah, we actually have five production peat. Peat farms counts grassland as bonus tiles. Peat farm can be built twice. We don't have a second spot for a peat farm. This grassland is already taken by a house. I'm not really sure. It's, so I don't feel like we're not going to find another great pasture. Possible. We will just get basically one bonus. Highlands, we're not going to get with what we know. We might discover more tiles later, but we might not. Astra counts Highlands. Heat farms, unlikely. Woodcutter, we're going to need a lot more exploration. I feel like Bone Carver is what we go with. That will give us immediately plus two for the next, you know, three years or so. And then we just hope that yeah we explore here six this is a yeah six x four and six exploration could be a hunter and these are sixes so I feel like the best chance yeah is that we go with the bone cover again we do these that gives plus two here yeah and we keep rolling with that I feel like getting more hearts today better given how tough uh the situation has become with plus four construction cost gotta be kidding me honestly heroes discovered minus wipes and exploration time okay 34 so we actually have eight to play with eight okay we got a quality wetland tile oh, this is one two three this one gives us three as well so if we discovered more wetlands here could actually be a good peat farm here but that's fine we can always move it we'll lose three oh, should we have gone with peat farms i don't know we need a go good gothy as well maybe this could be a good gothy 19 out of 26 no but we really we need to look for more highlands. That's what needs to happen. 
And the best bet would be to go with these. So I don't want to touch this tile. Let's try and explore for a second hunter. And also think about how we can get to 20, up to 26. The way we get to up to 26 is by building a shipbuilder. For a shipbuilder, we need a woodcutter. And a w good woodcutter. This is the only hope we have for a good... Oh, I can't believe it's nine. Christ. The only... Okay, let's just resolve this winter. Okay, again, we're towards the low. We're getting lucky with these rolls. I mean, uh, there's no reason to rush eight. It costs eight to build this guy. There's really no point in building him here because that will cost us eight and give us one. It will take two years, eight harvests for this to pay itself back. Where's the shipbuilder? 24. And it will double. So it will be three, it will be six instead of four. It will give us plus two. So these are good to discover, but we can't build a second hunter for now anyway. So we need something that will raise us to 26, and that could be a gothy. It could be here, it could... But a gothy needs to be next to one or two, ideally, quality tiles. That will be to build the hallowed grounds. Uh, so let's, let's go ahead and... I mean, let's just go ahead. I mean, it can't get any worse, to be honest. Let's go ahead and discover these two for maybe a good peat farm. A better peat farm than that. Or... Uh, this one. Or maybe for some woodlands. We need 37. Oh, hang on. Oh, dear. We need another house, urgently. And we don't even have... We're gonna have to bite the bullet here to be really honest with you guys. We can also discover this tile. Okay, explorers are busy. That will let us to let uh, we don't, I don't really wanna touch these unique tiles anymore. But we could discover this one for a, either a, a pasture or somewhere we could build a house here. In fact, no, we can't build anything on glaciers now. So this could be a spot for a house. Uh, this could also be a spot for a house, because it's next to this fisherman. God. This could be a spot for an... Uh, no, it, while adjacent to any non-house building, so the houses can't be adjacent to each other. No? Or... No, that doesn't mean that. While adjacent to any non-house building. So as long as it's adjacent to non-house, right? So this could be a spot for a house. Okay. Let's discover these two, and either we discover a spot for a second hunter, or if there's no hope for a second hunter there, we can build a house here next to the fishermen. Okay, we've uncovered this tile. That's a quality grassland. This could be a gothy. This could be a hallowed bog. This could be a hallowed meadow. And this could be a gothy. Right? Although it's actually good to build a gothy on a quality arc. Fine, this could be a gothy. And this could be a hallowed bog. Uh, this could be a woodcutter. Let's, oh, let's go ahead with exploring this one then. And we'll, I think that will round out the south here. All's rest. Studying the land seems to indicate the coming winter may be milder than usual. Minus one to winter stall. Perfect. Um, okay, we have, wait. Hang on a second. We have one explorer left. We've uncovered a sea tile here. Sorry, we actually saw that before. We'll just go ahead and uncover this. Maybe that will give us a bonus. Might as well, since we have the explorer. So let's See what's up here. We could move our peat farm here for plus one. Okay. Useless wetlands. 
Okay, let's just go. It can't get any worse now. Uh, literally, I mean, I mean, I, I would rather. I mean, obviously, it can get worse, but okay, we have twenty. Right, we need to build something before next two harvests. So nineteen plus nineteen. Uh, we need a woodcutter. We just need it. We could build it. Yeah, so our options are peat farm here. That gives us plus four as opposed to plus three. That, but the thing is, that will deactivate this house. So we can't really move the peat farm just yet. Maybe we should have gone with two, two peat farms. Okay, no point in dwelling on that. But let's just double check. Grasslands as bonus tiles. Oh... This could have been a massive peat farm here. But it's okay. Because what we can do is build a gothy here. Grassland or woodland. It will give us two. And we could build a hallowed bog. That will give us three to the gothy. And double it. So it will give us six. So overall this combo would give us six. As opposed to a peat farm that could give us one, two, three, four five here yeah for a much higher cost and we don't even know what's here this could be another peat farm I uh, the lesson here I guess you hold off on your masteries but too late for that now okay so that's one option but that means we need to build a wood woodcutter here All we need to spend on exploration. So we'll have... We have one, two... two and this will finish before the next harvest. And so will this one. So we just... We'll send them to explore here. Because I need to lose some. In order not to overstock. So if I spend nine here... That will be... Leave us with eleven plus nineteen... Okay, so let's just wait for this explorer to come back and we explore this tile here then. Or actually, so sixes. Okay. Fine, let's just explore here. Okay, let's wait. Let's make this. Let's do the maths here. Wetlands. Oh, come on. This is our only hope for a woodcutter that will give us a shipbuilder. Or, it's a spot for a gothy. A gothy here. And hallowed meadows. Plus one, plus one. It will give, our gothy would be plus three. And then it would triple it. So it would give us a nine gothy. Give us plus nine production here. Maybe that's what we do. Give us nine here. this combo that's the best use of these tiles but now we need to free up how much do we have we will have 39 and we can only store 36 so well we can actually go ahead and build the coffee here if that is what we're going with right Yeah, I feel like this is a plus nine gothy. Plus nine, and that will give us, that will bring us to 26, and then we just need, plus nine, we'd have 27, and then we need to find another 13 income to win the game. And that 13 income we need to find by finding another good highland spot. Gothic can only build on grasslands or, or wood. So we can't find a better spot for a Gothic to be honest. Oh, it's unlikely. Let's just go ahead. Spend 15 on this Gothic. And then we, we have another 5 to spare. We will spend it here. Right. 24. 
We'll spend six, we'll have 18. 18 plus 19, 28, 30, 37. We might overflow by one. Yeah, we will overflow by one. Asleep on the job. Destroys a random building. No, the watch one was to tend the embers of a sleeping fire, but unfortunately fell asleep himself. One building was burned beyond saving, but thankfully it was stopped before it was able to spread. Ah, oh, okay, this is bad. This is really bad, to be honest. In fact, this is could be game over here. What started as a quiet day has changed suddenly as a great storm blew in and has turned the sea into a deadly fury. Plus two winters tall. Okay, so that's 28 and we only have 18, guys. So... No, actually, I'm not sure if that is game over or not. Plus 14, so we'll have 22, 32. No, it's fine. We'll use the Veg Vizier and we will survive. God, these events, honestly. It's 50 50. I'm not. It feels like. It doesn't feel like 50 50. That's for sure. Oh, we need to rebuild this pasture. What? 32. Yeah, okay, let's finish this year. That was a bad year. Okay. 15 with this gothy. Okay. 28. Oh, we didn't even have to use a Vegas here. Okay. That is lucky. But now we need to build a pasture for eight. Okay, let's wait for the first harvest. Okay, let's re rebuild our pasture. Uh, we have this gothy. Let's. Oh, wait. Hang on a second. We got the second highlands, the quality highlands. Okay. That means uh, this can be a house. Even if we find another highlands here. And if it was a quality highlands, okay, we could get a three here. Oh, 13, 18. Christ, the exploration cost is crippling here. Absolutely crippling. Okay, at least we found some more woodlands as well. Just build this woodcutter. I feel like build this woodcutter for eight. Hope for more woodlands here. Definitely explore this one. Hope for another highlands or woodlands. Right, so this will sorry, this will give us one, two, three, four, five. So we'll we'll be making twenty soon. Twenty. We need another six. We need forty two to survive, so we need another house, frankly. That is what we actually need. We can't afford to explore anything right now. We need another house so we can at least store enough actually live oh but you know what now you know what now this could have been a great gothy if we put a gothy here that could have been one two that would be three four it would have been four times three it would have been a 12 gothy as opposed to a nine but we are going for a second hunter so this could be our ticket for a second hunter. Master completed. Yeah, okay, we're up to. Two. We could explore these two for 12 just to make sure there isn't a better hunter here. So if we could get away with a second hunter here, we then could unfortunately, you know, backtrack and remove our Gothi. Maybe that is what we do. Except we need a second house first. I'm not sure we can afford to explore anything this turn. Let's just get to 31. House for 19. 
Okay, let's get this next house. We'll have 32. Okay, we do actually have... Okay, let's do this. Okay, we have 20. We now have, can store 46. We'll get 20, so we'll have... Oh, we'll end this year with 40. Okay, this is a no-go for a hunter. Man. Seriously. Okay, we'll finish here with 40. So we're again, taking a gamble. Hang on. Do we explore this event? Let's explore these two. And this one. I feel like I've had my fill of... Uh, had my curiosity fulfilled in this game. We need to save money and explore these. Or we need to save money and start start building up the coffee. But if but if we can't get a second hunter here, guys, then uh pretty sure Hmm, I'm not really sure uh, if we can't get a second until we need to keep exploring. I mean, I guess to think this through, Winter's Toll doesn't, it only goes up plus, by plus one per year, right? If the production from previous year remained the same. So we can always keep it steady. Because you need half of previous year's production for the Winter's Toll. Oof, use back this year. Onward. Okay, unlucky, unlucky. But okay, we need 45. Next year we'll need 46 then, right? Okay, so let's think about this. We're getting 80 per year. So we can afford to explore this one. And maybe another one more. But without the Vec Vizier, we need to be super careful now. And we're going to have to waste resources, I feel like, right? So we'll have 27. Next time we have 60. We have 67 right now. So we have 20 to play with. Right? We're going to get 67. At 21. 22 we can uh, spend. Okay. Okay, we spend that. We now have 40 coming in. 40 plus 14. We have 54. We have another 8. Another 8 we could actually spend. Wow. Another 8. Wait, hang on. 20, 20. Let's pause. We have 54 and we have 8 that we have to spend. Otherwise, we're just going to waste it. And we could spend a 9, because maximum is 45 here. So let's... Okay, let's at least explore this, just to... Because now, we're pausing this. Now that this is a quality tile as well... <sighs> oh, we've, we've definitely shot ourselves in the foot with the masteries. Because now if we move this Gothi here then, that would be one, two, and we build hallow grounds all over here, that would be one, two from the Gothi, three, four, five from each of the hallowed, five, and we'd multiply that by one, two, that would be times two, times three, times four, five, that would be 20. So actually, this could be our ticket to win the whole game, is by building a gothi here and surrounding it with hallowed grounds. We also have the sea and shipbuilder combo we need to execute on. Which maybe we do in advance, and then we explore this, 
And then... Yeah, so this would give us... Woodcutter would give us plus one. And this thing would give us... Doubles production of adjacent fishermen. This would give us one, two... One, two, three, four... Give us eight. Eight instead of... Uh, Uh, if it yeah, it will give us eight instead of four. So this will give us plus four and plus one from this woodland. It'll give us plus five for a cost of eight and twenty-four for a cost of thirty-two. It's not too bad. And then we focus on building up this gothy. And we win the game that way. Meanwhile, we need to build houses. Oh, just this. Wetlands. Oh, it couldn't be a woodland tile, could it? Okay. Yeah, we have to move our gothy now. Salvage building, return seven. I think we spent 12, so that's not too bad. So let's, uh, let's think this through. We need 45. We're going to get 20 next harvest. So we have 38. We have 48. We're going to lose two. That's fine, there's nothing, nothing we can do about that. Okay. And yeah, nothing we can do about that. Yeah, this is our, this is the, our ticket to win. A woodcutter, shipbuilder, and gothy here. I guess we're better off moving the gothy first. And then we build a woodcutter. Next to that woodcutter, we build a house. Because we already built all the houses we can here. We could also explore this to build another house next to this pasture. Right? Because otherwise... Otherwise, the only other house we can build is here. But that would block off one of these tiles. Ay, ay, ay. I guess, yeah, this is a woodcutter and this is a house tile. Maybe we build a woodcutter plus a house so we can store more and then we start moving the gothy. And then we build a shipbuilder. I guess that's how we do it. Thirty-six, nice. We have left with ten. Fine, so let's build a woodcutter here and then maybe we explore and hope hope for uh some more wood here. Right? Wood. What else can we build in woodland? No, there's nothing that helps the gothy. Hallowed. No, actually, wait. We can even build a hallowed wood around this gothy. I know it's not a quality tile. Yeah, so definitely we won't build a woodcutter here. Let's build a woodcutter here. Okay, this is going to be our woodcutter. Plus one. Okay, we have 22. We're going to have 60 coming in, so that will be enough to cover us. We can now actually let's wait and build this shipbuilder next yep, let's wait for this woodcutter to finish wait for one more oh in fact we're gonna build a house here okay let's wait for the next harvest and then we build a house plus shipbuilder this 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 year right Boom, 43. The house costs us 24. Ship builder costs us 24, so we need 48. We could spend 48. And we're gonna get... Well, we can't spend 48, so it's only one or the other. And it will be a house. We build a house here next to this woodcutter. I'm gonna move this gothy later. Wait, wait, let's just do the maths here. We have 21, 20, we have 42 coming in. Plus 19. This will raise our maximum by 10 in just three months. So we'll have, we can store 56 and we have 42 plus 19. 
Uh, what does that make? 42, that's 50, 51, 61. Alright. Alright. 21, 21, 42, plus 9. That's 51, plus 10, 61. So we have 61 and we have 56, so we can we'll overflow by 5. Just to get to 56, that would be 5, but to go down to 48, we have another 8. So we have like 13 to spare. Could do this exploration here. Or we could salvage the building for 7 and rebuild it. We actually can do that this turn. Well, that would get rid of 1. So if we get rid of this building, we'd get 20 and 20. We get 40. 40 plus 19. We'd have... Hang on a second, sorry. We'd get 40 as income. We would also get 7 back, which this is 7 plus 19, 26. We'd spend 15 of that, which would leave us with 11 here. We'll have 11, 20, and 20. We'll have 51. Yes, we can do that. We can salvage this gothy. Rebuild it here this turn. Rebuild it here. Yep, that's 11. That would be 20 and 20. Boom, 20. Another 20 for 51. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, let's finish this year. We have survived. Okay, that's a gothy that gives us plus two now as well. So that's good. Okay, that's uh, 40. So we have 11 left. That's pretty good. It's kind of towards the middle. Um, okay, year nine. Okay, we have 11. We have 22. So we have 88 income per year. We need 50 to survive. Which means, let's wait for the first harvest. Boom. We build a shipbuilder. Okay, we build a shipbuilder that will give us, instead of four, it should give us eight. So we'll have 26 next turn. So we'll have 26 coming in twice more. That's uh, 52. So these two harvests alone should be enough. 52. So we have two plus. 31. We have 33 to spare. So let's build a hallowed bog. Build them on wetlands. Pass one perhaps from Gothi. Harvest from Gothi is multiplied by number. Yep. So let's get on top of this. There you go. It gives one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yep. As per our calculations, that is correct. 33. Uh, okay, we have 33 with 26 coming in. That will be 39, 49, 59. We're going to lose 3. 3, we hit, so we can spend 9 in total, right? Because we're going to lose 3. And then we only need 50. 6. Okay, I don't, I don't want to risk it. I kinda, we could explore this for 9 to keep things efficient, but we don't need to, I guess. Well, choose mastery. We have to go with this one, but it's fine. Okay, let's do that. We will build a hallowed meadow next after this winter. We could still go with a hunter here, I guess. Okay, we have eight left over. That's pretty good. Hallowed Meadow here. Get the next harvest. Okay, we need 58. Oof. 
Hang on a second. This is... I might, I might have sped up the game a little too much there. We need a house urgently. But... Not to fret, we could actually just build a house anywhere here. Okay, we'll lose one heart, and that's fine. No, in fact, non-house building. So next to a gothy should be okay, right? 29 it costs. No, but it's better to build Hallowed Grove here. Mm. Or oh, no, actually, we could build a house next to this woodcutter again. Right, we could build another house in these wetlands. It's next to this one. I don't think it matters it's next to a house. And we can't build a sacred bog here anyway, so let's go ahead and do that. And we have, what, 60 coming in, right? So... I just hope that houses that are... Yeah, okay. That's fine, right? It's working. Yeah, we have 66. We have 37. And we have another 30 coming in, so we'll be 67. Okay, it's fine. We'll lose one. That's fine. We will lose one harvest. That's perfectly fine. Good to know that houses adjacent to each other don't block each other off from the bonuses. What is good to note, though, is that Indeed, so give, the Gothic give us one and two from being on a quality tile. One from itself, one from the quality, being on a quality tile. One from the hallowed bog, so that's three. And yeah, even the first building already doubles. This should triple it. And this should quadruple it. And this should, uh... Wait. 43, nice, the minimum, perfect. Okay, that, that will allow us to build the Hallowed Ravine. And quality tiles got multiplied by the number of Hallowed Grounds on the quality. Ah, there's no point to yeah, building Hallowed Grounds. Hallowed Grove here only gives us plus one here. That will give us though, one, two, three. It's kind of like plus three actually because it's multiplied. Let's do this. Oh, okay. So we built this. This now gives us a lot. 36. So we just need Hallowed Ravine. Oof. Hang on a second. We need 67 to survive this. And we don't have effect this year. And we can only store 50, 66. So let's... We need to build another house ASAP. House. We need 34 to build a house though. Okay, it's fine can still guarantee a win here. It would be a small gamble, but it would be unfortunate if that is the way our settlement ended. So let's just pause. So anywhere else we can build a house. Build a house. Oh, a quality tile plus five maximum. That's what we should have done earlier, actually. Fine, right, we'll build another house on here. Should have done that with one of these houses. Frankly, 31. Yeah, okay, that will get built soon. We get Once we finish this ravine, we will win, right? Boom. Hang on, what just happened? Why did this start giving us less? It did, didn't it? No, no, no. Right. Hang on, it's one, two, three from this one, four. on a minute. Harvest from Goth is multiplied by number of hallowed grounds on quality tiles. Hang on a second. This is looking a little bit bad, to be honest, guys. Wait, so this is not... It gives us one, two, three, four, four times two now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Not really sure how this works. Okay. 
Well, we're committed now, so let's just... Uh, hang on, let's, let's have actually think about this. This will complete. Will that give us another six that we need? I mean... Or do we need a second a hunter? We can always get one from another hunter. Wait, okay, let's... We need to figure out the way Gothi works after we've completed this Hallow Grounds. Hopefully that adds another six. We'll definitely add a one that we multiplied by, what, two or three? So hopefully it gives us at least an th extra three. I'm kind of hoping it gives us an extra six, but... But... What we should be thinking about now is that we can store 81 and we're getting 34. So we're going to end up with 99. Which means 99 out of 81. So we have 9 and now we have 18 to spare. So let's... Let's do this. Guess what we also can do now is build a wharf here. Yeah, this is actually this is what we should have done. Upgrade to any burgeoning city, but that will triple ship build. Okay, that should allow us to win. If this sacred ground does not let us win. Okay, it's pretty close. Okay, we have 81. 59 towards the middle. We have 22 left. Okay, let's see. So right now, this is making us current harvest is 10. Let's wait for the first harvest and wait for this to complete. Okay, Hallowed Ravine. Okay, it did bring us to 32. Okay, that's good. Wait, what is this? Salvage? Wait. Ah, oh, okay. Oh, it's because I have it selected. It's got the hammer icon. So now it produces 18, right? And the way to calculate that would be one from the Gothi, one from the Quality Tower. That's two. Plus, so plus one, so three from this being on, generally this being three, because it's adjacent, it's one plus one harvest from Gothi. So that's one, two, three, four, five. So that's kind of five base. Five base multiplied by what? One, two, three. So five should give us, in my mind, it should give us times two, ten. Times two, times three, times four. It should give us twenty, in my mind. That's what it should give us. It should give us twenty. But it gives eighteen. Hang on. Ah, here. A useful information like a building gives us plus one per harvest. Effects plus two per harvest from Gothi. Okay times six so it gives us some three times six gothi harvest multiplier so each one of the gives a times two but the base is plus three i do not get this at all it's not plus one per harvest it's actually plus two base building plus one. okay but just good to know okay so each gothi Let's just, let's just leave it rolling since we've won the game. We just need to wait for this to complete. Um, we will just build a wharf just because we can. Hmm. The important thing is it's 18. Okay. Okay, that should be the third region settled, guys. Uh, was looking a bit bad. Yeah, exploration is important. That's the key lesson. These events, especially on, on this difficulty or even higher difficulty, you actually want to avoid these tiles as much as you can, frankly. Because overall, we got plus one maximum heart and minus one winter's toll in terms of blessings. And we got massive curses. Not sure how this is 50-50. That feels a lot, a lot worse than 50-50. One more month and we win. But the Gothi, yeah, so let's just sorry, let me just pause just for one second. So the building gives us one. So it didn't count the quality tile bonus. Okay, for the Gothi. So it's just one plus two per harvest from Gothi. 
Why plus two though? Plus two from what? From buildings? Plus one per harvest from Gothi. Plus one. They all give plus one. And then file. Multiplica multiplication factor. I understand. We have three hallowed. You have hallowed meadow, hallowed ravine, and hallowed bog. Three sites, each giving a times two. So it's a times six. All right. So then it's a times six. Times six times plus three. So it's one plus. Oh, that makes absolutely no sense. I think it may be bugged, to be honest. Upgrade complete. Here we are. Let's complete the settlement. Region settled in 137. Flip pretty quickly. Renowned 30. Saga multiplier times 2. Alright, guys. Well, uh, thanks a lot for watching. Seems like we haven't unlocked any new clans. So we now have unlocked all the clans from the first two settlements. But here we are. We've settled Ingol for the surveyors in... Uh, what was the region called? Ando something. So, thanks a lot for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I'll see you in the next episode where we tackle four or five skulls. Really difficult regions. Uh, thanks. Thanks again. Bye.